clever boys, girls, parents. I would like to welcome all of you to BBIS video session. I am Professor Percy Dias, attached to the ISOM department, the UG coordinator for BBIS program. Today, I am going to give you guys some very valuable information to make an important decision for your future career. Stepping stone to your future career, foundation to your future career. First thing I would like to talk to you guys about, uh, what is information systems means? I'm sure that a lot of students don't know much about information systems. You know about accounting, you know about marketing, you know about finance. So information system is that uh, that you guys use uh, when you apply for uh, university admission. And mobile phone, you guys do have a lot of apps used every day. That's information systems, right? So. Information system is going to be part of our life. It's a part of life already anyway. So can we live without information systems? I don't think so. Because we uh, we grown up, you guys basically, grown up with information systems. And I have a daughter, 15 years old. She can live without food for about eight hours. If I take away her mobile phone, she can't even survive four or five hours. So she's going to be very upset and grumpy. Right, understand? So it's same, same here. So information systems become part of our life, like food, like water. So since it's going to be a part of our life, since the information change, the way we play, the way we learn, the way we teach, so it's good to learn about information systems, then information systems give advantage to anything what you do. If you would like to do marketing, if you can do digital marketing, you can do better than someone that would some no information systems and using digital marketing. If you do uh, finance, if you do fintech, you can do better than others. So in this slide, I just put it together the uh, job areas that uh, you might as well be able to find it after your graduation. So uh, thinking about uh, banks. So traditional bank that we have branches, we go to the branch. So what we do is we are going to open accounts and then every time when you're going to uh, do some transactions, we draw money, transfer money, we go to go to bank, bank. So we don't have to do that. We can do everything now using, we call it digital banking. We call it uh, mobile banking, e-banking, right? And virtual banking, it's changed it's difference. So all things are good possible because of information systems. So, in other words, information system change the way we play, the way we learn. That's very important here. So now look at the career choices. If you look at traditional banks, so if you want to, if your parents want to make investment of the hard-earned money, so they go to the bank and try to talk to someone that we call it the uh, investment advisors. Are we going to have it them for another ten years time? Definitely not. So everything is going to be changed now. So we have a robo advisors. So we go to a system, interact with information systems. Information systems can give your parents a better choice than someone personally could do it. They could ask questions, they could interact with you and make the best choice for you to decide depending on your, uh, we call it risk uh, appetite, I would say. So these are the uh, jobs, opportunities, careers are growing. Because whenever we are relying on more on information systems, we need people with cybersecurity. We have to have someone that your parents are going to do in banking. Then we have to have someone to check the banking system and see if the IBAM system is safe. So we need to have cybersecurity experts. We have to have information system auditors. So we are going to have courses cater to have you guys to have this uh, knowledge necessary for you to get into the your future careers, technology innovation, IT consultant, I, of course financial technology we call fintech. Example of fintech is going to be something like robot trading, robot advising, right? So as I mentioned to you guys before, right? So these are the uh, career choices that you would have it and these career choices are growing definitely. So it's something that you have to seriously consider about it, okay? So the next slide is uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about your own concerns. So you understand now information systems is very important, right? Correct? And at the same time, and one more thing I would like you guys to do. List down the billionaires in the world, top 10 for example, and try to divide them, that younger ones and older ones. The ones that who become fastest billionaire and then someone who took longer time. 
then you would see that richest man in the world. Amazon.com is an information system. Jack Ma, Facebook CEO, all are dealing with information systems. If you want to be the next billionaire, yes, the major that undoubtedly you have to choose about information systems. That would make a difference in your life for sure, 100%. Okay. So now, concern is that the difference between information systems and computer science. You know that information systems within the business school, that's why we call business oriented, and computer science, computer engineering in other schools as well. So it's called technology oriented. Okay. So now, the main difference is computer science, how developing tools, computer engineering, and IS apply tools to solve business problems. For example, CS guys, they are designing chips, they are putting together as a computer, working workable computer, and they, they write operating systems, they write uh, complex uh, the tools, right, programs, and what IS guys do is take those tools, apply the tools into the business problems. So you, if you, there should be someone who should have an idea about technology and business both. So IS guys are the ones, the gap, the bridge here. Okay, fill the bridge. Okay, here. So that means the business guys don't know much about technology. Technology guys don't know much about business. So IS people fill the gap here, and then use tools to solve the business problems. So that is something that really needed in our days in society. Okay, right. So now one, one more question that you guys will ask about is, I have never learned technology before. I have never learned programming in my school. Will I be able to successfully complete the information systems degree? So this is a concern I see last many years. So I've been UG coordinator. I started being a UG coordinator for BBIS program even before you guys were born. So every year I'm advising for more than 200 students. So look at number, thousands. So all of them come back, some of them has never learned, I think majority of them have never learned anything related to technology in high schools. They come and tell me, Percy, will I be able to complete? But at the end of the day, after four years, they graduated with first class honors. They said, Percy, like, you know, it's, it's make a difference in my life. So that's something that I really would like to see. So don't worry. When we teach courses, we never expect you to ask you guys to have any prior knowledge. We teach from the very basics going upwards. So don't worry about that. Okay, right. And then of course, uh, competing our students with other students in other programs. Yes, you can see that there are our students go to uh, the, uh, the different case competitions, and for example, all of them that happen in Hong Kong. We had around uh, 80 groups compete from all the all the universities in Hong Kong, and you can see the list. Our students always excel. That means knowledge that we are going to give to our students is going to be very helpful for them to compete with anyone graduated in, in anyone completed in any other major. So these competitions are organized by Hong Kong H HKCR, HKCR government, part of International IT Festival as well. Okay, right. So uh, now I would like to talk to you guys about the one year internship. So what is one year internship? One year internship means that our students complete the year three of their studies and then go for industry, work for the industry for one year, get some experience and come back. So what's the biggest advantage of going to one year internship? I would say it's a return offer. So a lot of our students go and work for one year for organization and then before even they come back to UST, they sign a contract to work for that company. So that's the biggest advantage. But not only that, so after they graduate, they, if you want to find the best job, your CV should be looks better than your best competitor. So one of the most important things to make your CV looks better is having experience. So one year experience, one year internship definitely give you guys that experience. So in terms of number of person, students go for one year internship, I would say more, almost 50% of our first major graduates going for one year internships. So in terms of number and percentage, I would say this is the highest in HKUST. So we are giving opportunities for our students. Over the many years, we do have a lot of contacts with the organizations. Companies contact our department directly, ask us to make some recommendations. So, and our students go and do a fantastic job. So after they complete one year, they are always asking our students to come back and make some recommendations from our students. So that's an opportunity for you guys. 
So, uh, here is a list of uh, uh, organizations given one, t one internships, not, this, is, this is not an ex exhaustive list, so this uh, selected few ones only. So, it is something that is going to be extremely helpful for our students. Okay, right. And then this is uh, something that you guys can consider about the uh, job uh, sectors that our students are going to go. As I mentioned to you guys, IS is the most complementary de degree for any other major or anything what else we do. As I mentioned to you guys before, marketing, we have e-marketing. Finance, we have uh, fintech, right? Understand? So no matter whatever you do. IS definitely give you guys a competitive ed edge. So that's why uh, my recommendation for you guys to choose IS. Now, after our students graduation, when they go to workplace, what will be the feedback from employers? So you can see that the feedback from, uh, from employers regarding our program is extremely positive. Logical thinking, fast adaptation, critical think, creative thinking, and then of course race ideas, good ideas. So this, you can see that this is the constant feedback we received all the time from the employer. Now, uh, I would like to look into our degree. It's BBA Information Systems. It's just a degree. Or are we going beyond than the degree? Definitely yes. So we have an opportunity for you guys to have a professional examination certification having in your degree after completion. That is we call Certified Information Systems Auditor. So I'm going to talk about this uh, professional certification in my next slide. So we do have two specialization. First one is specialization of business analytics. I'm sure that all of you guys heard about business analytics, big data, right? Understand? So it's going to be a very important part. And there are a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of organizations looking for talents with big data, business analytics. That's something very helpful. The second one is IS auditing, as I mentioned to you guys, that when we are relying on the systems all the time, so most of the human, the, uh, the tasks being automated using systems. So then we should have someone to go and test systems with the systems working properly, e-banking system for a bank. So all the listed companies in Hong Kong should be audited by IS auditor at least once a year. That's the regulation uh, from the uh, SFC. HKMA, about regulators in Hong Kong, financial regulators. So this is a growing field. So when we are going to uh, rely on the systems more and more, the IS auditors are going to be more and more extremely important. So that's something that we need to understand. So in addition to that, let's look at some of the professional certification associated with certain degrees. Accounting, we have CPA. Finance, we have CFA. But IS, we have a Certified Information Systems Auditor, CISA. It's a very important certification that's required for IS auditing. So uh, CS exam is a very challenging one, but I can tell you guys around four years ago, one of my students just took our courses and sat the CIS professional exams. He became world number one. He's so far, this examination conducted more than 150 countries in the world. It happens, is having it for last like 20 odd years. So he's the so far, one and only person to become world number one in entire greater China, including uh, including mainland China, Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan, all the other countries. Okay, so that means our program definitely help our students to achieve and then of course do much better. Finally, this is the contact information for us. My name is Percy. You can see my email address percy at usd.hk. If you guys would like to know about our program, feel free to contact me at any time. Great to talk to you and I would like to wish you good luck, all the best. Bye-bye, all the best.